This is a fourth stimulus check, stimulus program, and news update. President Biden met with six Republican senators to talk about the upcoming infrastructure package. I'll give you a quick summary of what came out of that meeting. We'll talk about the fourth stimulus check and how 16 states are now canceling their unemployment benefits. I'll let you know which states those are and when those $300 per week benefits will be canceled. And there could be up to $25,000 in hazard pay for grocery store and essential workers. I'll give you the details on that and then I'll answer the questions you leave for me in the comments. I hope you're having an awesome Friday. If you appreciate these fact-based, fast-paced updates, then hit the like button down below. So the White House celebrates the end of mask requirement for fully vaccinated people. Here's President Biden talking more about the new CDC regulation in terms of masks. Well, today is a great day for America. In our long battle with coronavirus, just a few hours ago, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention and the CDC announced that they are no longer recommending that fully vaccinated people need wear masks. This recommendation holds true whether you are inside or outside. I think it's a great milestone, a great day. This really is a big milestone for our country and hopefully the world, a lot less people are going to be wearing masks now and things might be coming back to normal. Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below, whether you're vaccinated or not vaccinated. Will you wear a mask, not wear a mask? Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. So tens of millions of people are eligible for $50 off their internet bill per month, up to six months or when the funds run out. To qualify for this, you need to make $99,000 or less in the year of 2020 for a single filer, $198,000 as a couple. And there's a few other qualifications for this. You also get up to $100 off your laptop, desktop, or tablet. Uh, it's a really good program. It's called the Emergency Broadband Benefit Program, or also known as the EBB. This is the website. If you go to getemergencybroadband.org, you can find out more information if you qualify, and you could also apply for it as well. Highly recommend it, especially if you're watching this video and you have internet, you could get $50 off that internet. Uh, Next, let's talk about the possibility of a fourth stimulus check, what you need to know. So, so far, there are two official proposals in Congress for the fourth stimulus check, one of them being in the House, which is $2,000 per month until the pandemic is over. And then once the pandemic is over, it'll be another recurring $1,000 per month uh, for one year after the pandemic is over. Uh, so this is uh, supported by, I think, 56 House representatives, and then we have the other stimulus package proposal, which is going to be $2,000 per month. This is in the Senate, presented by Ed Markey, Elizabeth Warren, uh, Bernie Sanders. Uh, so these checks, uh, we don't know if this is gonna officially be in the infrastructure package, the families plan, the jobs plan, but they are trying to get this in there somehow. Uh, it may not be a $2,000 monthly check by the time it gets in there, it may be a, just a one-time payment, but I'll keep you updated on that. President Biden had a meeting with Republican senators to talk about the upcoming infrastructure package, what's going to be in it, how much. Uh, so, so far they said it was a productive meeting when they had it. I'm gonna give you a quick summary of that. I'll play you a video clip. And President Biden said, I'm very optimistic that we can reach a reasonable agreement and said that the meeting was very, very good. Shelley Moore Capital, which was one of the Senate Republicans, was very encouraged. So the six Republican senators that were in this meeting was John Barrasso, Roy Blunt, Mike Crapo, Pat Toomey, and Roger Wicker. All big critics of President Biden to begin with, so they all met face to face. Here is Sh uh, Senator Shelley Moore Capito talking more about the meeting after that meeting. Virginia Senator Shelley Moore Capito, lead negotiator in the process and in the White House meeting today. The senator serves on the Senate's Commerce, Science and Transportation Committee. Senator, thank you so much. It's thank great you. to have you with us today. Um, I'm glad to see you without your mask, which I heard you <laughs> took off uh, quickly as soon as you got that message that a lot of people did. Um, so let me ask you, what did you feel was accomplished in that meeting today for you? For you? Well, I think we accomplished a lot. I think we both uh, voiced our desire to reach a bipartisan agreement. We started to narrow what uh, our definition as Republicans uh, physical core infrastructure is and have the president react to that and, and vice versa. Uh, he uh, was very open to suggestions, uh, as were we. And uh, I think it's the beginning of, uh, it's a good jump start, I think. And I think we've already passed a water bill, which is one of the, one of the uh, 
p parts of a uh, physical infrastructure package we think is important. So we've gotten a little bit along the way, and we promise to come back with another offer uh, that he will react to then and counter offer. So you know, I, I think we did we did what we intended to do, which was get next steps, be very cordial and and ready to deal. Yeah. Um with regard to what Peter reported, you know, the, the president has said, well, if I can get it done without Republicans, if need be. Um, so I guess the question is, is he negotiating with Republicans or is he negotiating with a couple of Democrats who he might need to offer a lower number to to get this through? on reconciliation and not need any Republicans. What's your sense? Well, quite honestly, I think the president is, uh, you know, he's a former senator himself. He's hes made a lot of deals through his many years uh, in the Senate. And uh, I think we all felt uh, that he was uh, an honest broker here in terms of wanting to actually do something together that we've traditionally not done together, which is infrastructure. And uh, and I didn't, I, I didn't have a feeling, and I don't think any of my fellow, fellow senators did either, that this was some sort of end around play. I think okay. we are still we are still in motion here and that's the good news. This is Mitch McConnell um, on May 5th talking about his perspective, his big picture perspective. Listen to this. 100 percent of my focus is on stopping this new administration. We're confronted with severe challenges from a new administration and a narrow majority of Democrats in the House and a 50-50 Senate to turn America into a socialist country, and that's 100 percent of my focus. So that got a lot of attention. It reminded a lot of people of what the then uh, Senate Majority Leader said about the Obama administration, that it was going to be, you know, his day and night duty, essentially, I'm paraphrasing, to make sure that they didn't pass anything. Does that hurt your ability to negotiate in there with the president? Well, it certainly didn't today, and uh, you know, I think it's important to note that the that the leader was in talking with the president yesterday about this very topic of infrastructure. I think what the leader is talking about is being 100 percent focused on the parts of uh, the president's agenda that he considers moving way too far to the left, whether that's uh, the um, Green New Deal and other uh, very far-reaching and, and changing types of, um, of uh, plans. And so I think he has encouraged me and us as a team to go in and talk, and uh, I think we moved the ball forward today. So far, there is a big gap between the Republicans and the Democrats in terms of infrastructure packages moving forward. Republicans are at around 600 to 800 billion. Democrats, with their proposal, are at 2.3 trillion. So they're going to try to bridge the gap. Most likely, what's going to happen, in my opinion, is that they're going to the Democrats are going to have just a sole infrastructure package that could be bipartisan. Pass that, and then the Democrats will pass their own human infrastructure, care infrastructure package, which may include the fourth stimulus check, increase in Social Security, expansion of Medicare, $15,000 home buyer credit, a lot of things that have been proposed over the last few weeks. Subscribe to the channel if you want the latest on those proposals, fourth stimulus check, and what comes out of the infrastructure and jobs plan packages. Next, let's talk about how more than 1.9 million people could see severe cuts in unemployment aid as Republicans seek to curb assistance. So now there are officially 16 Republican governors who announced that the federal $300 per week benefits will be cut in their states. So these states are Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, Georgia, Idaho, Iowa, Montana, Mississippi, Missouri, Dakota, Ohio, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Utah, and Wyoming. So far, there haven't been any Democrat states that are going to cut the unemployment benefits. Uh, so this could affect up to 2 million people. And the when, when these benefits are going to be cut, it's a range depending on which state it is. So it could be June 12th, and others could be up to July 10th. And what's basically what's going to happen is they're going to cut the unemployment benefits. So far, Montana is the only official state offering a back-to-work bonus to replace any benefits that will be cut. Uh, and the others are the other states that I did not mention. The benefits will run out September 6th, with it, which is the original date. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you are on unemployment in any of these states. Have you been notified? Anything changing with your unemployment benefits? Uh, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think this is a good idea, bad idea? Will this help people get back to work? Will it hurt families who are relying on this unemployment money? Uh, so basically the reason for this, if we look at this chart, April last month, it only got 266,000 jobs created, which was less than the previous two months. 
uh, and still nowhere near where it was a year ago or even before the pandemic. So I'll keep you updated on what happens with these unemployment benefits cuts, if more states do it, if other states decide to go back on that or offer back to work bonuses. I'll let you know all those updates in the future. Subscribe if you want more of that information. Also, speaking of unemployment, the Secret Service seizes two billion in fraudulent COVID unemployment benefits and returns funds to states. So the Secret Service also said it sees more than 640 million in funds defrauded primarily from the pay check protection program. So these are a lot of the people who are kind of scamming the system. Uh, this doesn't apply to everybody, but it said this is typical of cyber fraud we deal with annually. It's just compounded based on the additional funds from COVID relief. So basically it's the same amount of fraud, but because there's more unemployment money uh, and going around, that's the reason why it's a lot higher than usual. Uh, next, let's talk about hazard base. So cities can use their federal stimulus to cover up to $25,000 in hazard pay for grocery store and other essential workers. So this is money that's coming out. So new spending rules issued this week say that states and local governments can use their federal COVID-19 relief aid for hazard pay for essential workers. So deciding on how much really depends on the location. Basically what it is saying here is that employers' policies on COVID-19 related hazard pay have varied widely with many essential workers not yet compensated for heightened risks they have faced and continue to face. It said uh, in a recent study published in the Journal of American Medical Association, saying that 25% of essential workers were estimated to have low household income with 13% in the high risk households. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you a grocery store worker, or essential worker? Do you think that you deserve hazard pay? Uh, so more on this, it's saying that the rule defines premium pay as an amount up to $13 per hour in addition to wages or remuneration the worker otherwise receives. If pay would increase workers' wages by more than 150% according to the justification requirements, uh, then it says who would be eligible for this. So essential worker is defined as work involving regular in-person interactions or regular physical handling of items that were also handled by others. So that's a pretty broad, broad definition of essential worker and could be eligible for hazard pay. We'll find out over the next few days and weeks as it's $350 billion gets distributed to states and local governments. I'll keep you updated on that and which places are going to be giving hazard pay. Next, I'm gonna answer the questions you leave for me in the comments. If you want me to answer a question, type the word question and ask a question. I'll try to get to it in the next video. Uh, so Kestaboy Records asks, if I have a remaining balance of $5,000 in unemployment, will they still end my unemployment? So, <clears throat> excuse me. Not sure what you mean by $5,000 in unemployment, I guess if that's what's owed to you. If you're in any of those states that I mentioned earlier and the unemployment benefits will be cut by a certain point, you're be you won't get any more $300 per week benefits, uh, regardless of it saying that it's going to go until September 6th, just for those 16 states that I mentioned. Uh, next question. Patricia Salazar, has there been any more discussion about raising SSI by $200? So far, just proposals, just words. They're trying to get that into the American Families Plan, but as of now, it hasn't been there yet. It looks like they're still negotiating things. Uh, next question, is North Carolina participating in unemployment $10,200 tax break? Uh, so the tax break, the $10,200, is for everybody, that's national. It doesn't, uh, it's not state to state. In terms of North Carolina ending the federal unemployment benefit, they're still continuing that until September 6th. If you live in a state that's controlled by a Republican governor, good chances are that the federal unemployment benefits will be cut. Sorry, <clears throat> my throat is going out. Um, next. Uh, Anita Connor, will unemployment benefits last until September? It really depends on which states uh, are going to cancel it or not. Uh, next question, what is EBB? That is the emergency broadband benefit that I mentioned before, where it's going to give $50 per month in internet up to $100 for a laptop, desktop, or tablet. Uh, so I highly recommend checking up on that. See if you qualify, then you can apply. Uh, that is all the stimulus news I have for you today. To hopefully cheer you up a bit, here is my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Oh, hi guys. Hi guys.
guys, this is Bill. This is the tip of the day. I'll tell you the one thing you should do. Remember when you were a kid, you always used your imagination in your mind. It's called, that's why it's called imagination. Imagining what you're thinking about. And remember that when you were a kid, you use your imagination for like anything, like movies, you watch the movies, you imagine it yourself with it. You may sometimes when you when you when you're watching cool movies, use your imagination to do the same thing if you want. And also, can I tell you something? I watched a movie, and, and now I'm all about it. And now I'm Ghostbuster. I this this one you shoot you shoot out you shoot at light and it, and it and makes the ghost disappear. And this one. You, you 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 tap it like this and and it makes you disappear make the ghost disappear so don't, so that's all I wanted to tell you bye and if you want to check out any of my other stimulus updates, you can click this playlist down over here. I go over the home buyer's credit, social security increase, uh, the child tax credit, a lot more videos in detail over here. Or if you want to take a break from this, you want to learn how to make some money, manage money, invest money, you can click this video over here to my Wise Sense channel. Click either one of those and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.